on First Tonight, a developing story in Tampa. A man accused of tricking his girlfriend into a miscarriage plans to admit what he did in court. Our Chris Trankman is following the story tonight in the newsroom. And Chris, you spoke to one expert who said John Weldon's future is all but certain at this point. Well, that's right, Serena. If the judge accepts the deal, Weldon avoids a high-profile trial and the victim won't have to endure the pain of reliving the experience of losing her child. We talked with Remy Lee exclusively several months ago about the entire ordeal. That was the worst, like, there's nothing in this world that can be worse than how I felt those few days. Remy Jo Lee first spoke publicly in May about the nightmare of losing her unborn child. This was my everything. This was the thing I was the most excited about. Every woman dreams of becoming a mom. It was finally my chance. Learning that her then boyfriend, 28-year-old John Weldon, was the one accused of tampering with medications to cause a miscarriage seemed beyond belief. I still haven't fully comprehended it all. It's still just, I can't believe that someone did something so malicious to me. And not only to me, but to himself, that was our baby. Since prosecutors dropped the most serious charge, murder under the federal Unborn Victims of Violence Act, Weldon avoided a trial that could have carried a harsh penalty. It's risky. It doesn't have any jury appeal. The jury's not going to like the defendant. They're not going to like what happened. And he's risking life in prison if he gets convicted. Instead, Weldon signed a deal accepting 13 years, 8 months in prison, which will be presented in court on Monday. The federal judge will probably approve it if the victim does not complain. After Weldon's indictment, Lee was still struggling with the reality that she and her baby were victims of a serious crime. It's changed my whole life around. I'm happy to see other women that are pregnant, but I wish it was me still. Mother's Day was really hard. You know, I don't know where to go from here. Now, the agreement means Weldon will plead guilty to product tampering and mail fraud for his role in obtaining and changing the labels on the drugs used to cause the miscarriage. Live in the newsroom, Chris Trankman, ABC Action News. And is accused of tricking his girlfriend into taking a pill that caused her to lose the baby's, uh, the couple's unborn baby, is headed home today. But he's doing so under the very watchful eye of authorities. John Weldon, who's been in the Pinellas jail since mid-May, has been released with some rather stringent guidelines. Bill Logan has been following the case and trying to follow the man home this morning. Bill, is uh, Weldon there yet? Not yet, but we are not alone out here live along Lutz Lake Fern Road, uh, the home of the Weldon family. There are other reporters out here, other photographers staking this out to see if he does come home. Now, we do know that John Weldon was released from the Pinellas Jail this morning, just about 8.30, into the custody of U.S. Marshals. He is still discussing the terms of his release with those Marshals, and we do know that he's headed here. No one was answering the door this morning at the Weldon family home on Lutz Lake Fern Road, and no one here was wanting to talk about the return of John Weldon, who stands accused of tricking his pregnant then-girlfriend into taking a drug that caused her to miscarry earlier this year. A stealthy transfer that started this morning from the Pinellas County Jail, where Weldon was being held under an assumed name for his own protection, was to finally be finished at the family's Odessa home, and it became clear that this family did not want any further discussion of this case this day. As the 28-year-old arrives home, he will have some rather draconian measures in place to ensure he doesn't flee, in addition to orders that he'll remain in the area, in fact, to stay in his bedroom and wear the ankle monitor. Weldon has had to surrender his passport and hire a private security detail that will track his every move. He'll also be required to check in with local pretrial service agencies once a week, submit to random drug tests, and have no contact at all with the alleged victim, Remy Lee. Weldon is charged with murder after allegedly switching labels on a prescription vial that contained Cytotec, a drug used to induce labor, and tricking the woman into taking it back in February. Weldon will have to stay here until that federal trial can begin. Of course, when that trial begins remains to be seen, as is the case in a lot of these uh, federal cases. There's a lot of lingual wrangling to be done between now and the time the jury starts hearing evidence. It appears as though this will be the best place to make sure uh, this suspect is safe and secure in that time leading up to the trial. Reporting live in Odessa this noon, Bill Logan, ABC Action.